Hi there. Um, this is for uh, Samhara Dev. Uh, it's about, about the ARP patterns and making a custom ARP pattern. So I'm going to switch to uh, the manual. Uh, this is page 255. This will give us an idea, but it's not very clear on how to do it, to me anyway. So, uh, I've got a uh, preset selected. Um, that P there needs changing to M for master. So that's now onto, onto master. So we do that. Uh, I'm going to save this preset. Um, go to preset edit and go to uh, this pattern here, which is in um, from preset name. I've gone down here to press Art Riff. That takes me to Arpeggiator. Using the cursor down to the pattern there. Status is off at the moment. So I can turn that to on. And this is the pattern. There we go. So now I go to ARP here and we're on the master arpeggiator. I'll just spin back to that num that name there, pattern zero 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 sliding up is the one that's in the preset that name there okay so if I change that doesn't change that's because that M there sets for the master arpeggiator so that means that whatever the preset setting is that that doesn't work because it's set to master there. If I change that to P, yeah, that, that then relies on the preset setting, but we don't want that. We want to change that to M. So it's on the master setting. So that's why when we go to ARP, the master arpeggiator. So we've got that pattern sliding up there. Next screen, we're looking for the edit user ARP pattern. So if that was on this one, it's still playing the previous, it's still playing this one. Yeah, because the master arpeggiator is set to pattern zero. So if we change this, Tech step, yeah. So you must set this in the master arpeggiator. You must set that pattern to edit. So if you go uh, choose sliding up one and change this to edit user pattern sliding up. Go to edit pattern name. We can save this as a different one. This here now is the pattern. So each pattern has a, uh, a setting there. The first S01 is the first step. It's the pattern step. So it's pattern step one. And that then plays key that you press plus zero. So it's that key. If you change that number there, move the cursor to there, change it to one. Yeah, or you can change it up quite high or whatever. So that's now playing that key. I'll put it back down to zero. This is the first step in the pattern that we're recording. Velocity is important because the sound of the, the voice 
can change with the velocity. It doesn't on this particular voice, but you can set that. So that's quieter or louder. Duration is, oh, in fact, we can do that, can't we? So if we set the velocity depth right down to that there. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Right, okay, so we'll drop that down to 50 again, leave it as it is. Duration, that does change stuff. Yep, or the other way. And then you've got a repeat. So if we put that onto a repeat of one. Now we go to step two. So it's pattern step two. But the moment that's end because it's ending the pattern just after that one note so we'll change that now either to skip which would mean doesn't play anything different rest and you can change the duration of the rest so you can go up to really slow yeah so that's rest tie so you can add um, a long note tie one note to the next note uh, the key now we're looking at so we've got a minus 12 so step one is zero that's the note you play step two is 12 below that, 12 semitones below that. So the reason that's repeating four times, the low note, is because that's on repeat four. So if we change that repeat down to one, yep, yeah, the same as if we go back here, that repeat, oh, mistake. <laughs> Go back to the ARP, the ARP button. Uh, go back to uh, repeat two, maybe three. Yeah, and so on. So now you can edit uh, each step. So we've got uh, an end step. So we can skip that step or rest. So we'll rest for, yeah, and then step four. Change that to um, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I meant plus three. Uh, step four plus three. Repeat times six. So all of a sudden you've got a uh, a bit of an odd pattern, but it is a pattern. Uh, we'll drop that down to three, perhaps. We might drop that rest down in length. So do you get the idea now? It's a pattern step of four. A pattern, uh, on the pattern step four is a plus three note. Yeah, pattern step three is rest. Two is at a minus 12 key. Step one is at zero. Okay, so now I need... Okay, I found out why I couldn't just save the pattern. Uh, as it says here, you edit a pattern you're writing directly to memory. There's no save command. So if I want to modify an existing, I have to copy the pattern to another location using the function of the copy save menu. So that's why. So the pattern we edited before, which isn't working because it's not set at the moment. Uh, so let's set that up. Uh, arpeggiator. Um, I've changed the, the name there to, uh, instead of sliding up, it's M lighting up. Uh, go to the preset. If we change that to uh, master there. That's the pattern I put in before. Um, go to ARP. 
master arpeggiator on um, and I just changed that name so when you change the name um, sorry next one art pattern name when I change the name OPQRS that's what it was called originally uh, and when I go back out of that now click the ARP off the uh, master arpeggiator is now using Uh, that that pattern that we altered and if we go into the preset you can see it's now changed name to sliding up again so um, I hope that helps uh, I hope it's not too confusing for you uh, and that's how to do a basic edit of the uh, the arpeggiator there's lots more features there I'll probably have a, a play with myself and, and have a look at it and do, do another video um, but that's uh, that, that's all I have on the uh, arpeggiator at the moment, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.